Hi, it's Portia here and this is Stitch Story. Today I want to share with you guys some quick and easy patterns that you can do during this time where we are all staying at home. So these are great knitting patterns for whether or not you're a beginner or if you've been knitting for some years and you've decided to just simply pick it right back up. And you know, like a bicycle, um, you always know how to knit once you've learned the first time. So I've been looking around and I was like, hey, this one seems like a great pattern. This is a great one. So just like I get a lot of yarn, I also hoard a lot of parent, uh, patterns too. But. That's a whole other story. But yeah, let me show you what I found. So these are five patterns that I found that will be great to do while you're staying at home. Let's jump right in. Okay, so here I am on the GinaMichelle.com website. And the reason that I like this pattern is, first, the baby is absolutely adorable, right? Um, but aside from that, you know, Easter is coming up, it's springtime, and you think about the bunny rabbits. So if you have a baby in your life or you have one on the way, this hat is just so cute and it's also awesome for beginners. It is pretty much made up of a stockinette stitch and all you really need to know is how to knit and then you're knitting in the round so these are using circular needles and then knitting two together so that's pretty much the extent of that particular pattern so like i said it's very easy for the beginner but also if you're just picking your needles up and you want to do a quick pattern jump right in let's go to the next one so right here on this site and i am going to put all the websites in the link well, I'm sorry, in the comment section right below, the links will be there. This is justbecrafty.com. And when I found this one, again, great beginner pattern, but more so than that, the texture of just a garter stitch by itself creates, it knits up wonderfully, right? But in this one, they've also incorporated a yarn over. So if you are comfortable with the garter stitch and you're ready to do something a little bit more fancy, this Stardust scarf would be great because the little, let's say, holes or the yarn over that you create when you, um, the yarn over that you use creates the hole. So this gives this pattern a little bit more flair. So I think this is something great that, to try. And even here, they use multiple colors. You could just use one color, your favorite color, and just jump right in. So all you need to know is the knit stitch. So, and then from there you use a knit two together and then you also do a yarn over. So yeah, this one I thought was really good to do during this time where we're all at home, maybe bored, looking for something new to do. Okay, so the next one is smilingcolors.com. I really like this one because I know if you're using a chunky yarn and bigger needles, this is something that is very satisfying because it won't take that long to complete. And the yarn choice here is completely up to you as far as what you wanna do, but at the end of the day, you walk away with a practical, um, let's say project, a product that will look great. You know, throw it on your couch, throw it in your favorite chair as back support, and it's something that you made yourself. So this is a great project to do, uh, again, during this time where we're all at home. What size needles do they use here? I don't know, I must have skipped that part. Uh, oh, they use size 19 knitting needles. Um, the thing about this pattern too, if that's something you don't have on hand, maybe you don't have the bigger needles, it's adaptable. So use some smaller needles, you may have to just cast on more yarn, but the thing about it is all you're making is a square with the sock and net stitch and then they use some fabric to back it and of course you got your polyfill to stuff it. But yeah, I think this would this would be great and we still can order things online if this is something you don't have on hand, but yeah, I think we should this is one that should definitely be tried. Okay, so moving on, the next website is pearlavenue.com. Now, the reason why I picked this out as a great um, project is because it's a shawl. So one, it won't take long to complete, right? You may be able to do it in a one day sitting um, if you have a lot of time on your hand, or you know, you can do it over the course of a couple of days, a little bit at a time. 
but because it is spring this is something that's super lightweight because of the type of yarn that they use in this particular pattern you could tell it's a nice soft lightweight yarn so it's great for spring leading into the summer and of course if you chose to use a thicker yarn you could use it for the winter time as well but I think this is great if you just want to jump right in and, and do again this is a stockinette stitch and make something really cute for yourself right why not return to work with a fabulous scarf that you made yourself or Charlotte as they call it in this case all right, so let's move on. And the last one I wanna show you guys is this cute blanket here. So this is a textured baby blanket. Again, these are all free patterns. And let's see what's here. So they use circular needles, probably just because of the length, but it's definitely not knitted in the round. Let's actually look at the pattern. Okay, real simple. So we got our knit stitches, the purl stitches, and that's pretty much it. Um, but at the end of the day, you end up with a cute little baby blanket, uh, 21 by 24. So if you don't want to jump into something that's going to take you weeks to finish, I'm quite sure this is something that you could finish perhaps even in a weekend. Throw some Netflix on, get into the pattern, and before you know it, you know, it'll be done. So uh, let me know in the comments if you found any of these projects interesting, or even if you have something of your own that you want to share. I love to see it because, like I say, I love to collect patterns um, just as much as I love to collect yarn. I have an overflow of both. Um, and also, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to Portia's Stitch Story. And until next time, peace.